know how they tell you, you need experience before you can get experience? I felt like you needed to get your foot in the door just, just so you can know if this is something you want to do. If you want to go for this career, you need to have passion. For me, just, just drove the, home the point. It's, you know, people need help and I want to be there for them. Caring for people is at the heart of healthcare. But how do you really know if you want to spend your professional life doing that, let alone invest your time and money in a health professions graduate school? We want to make sure that you, the applicant, know that you like patient care, that it's something you'd like to do. We don't want you to go through all this work, get into the program, start paying tuition, and then realize like, hmm, it's not really what I thought it would be. Clinical experiences are crucial for admission to a physician assistant degree program. According to the American Association of Physician Assistants, of the top 12 programs in the nation, eight require between 1,000 and 4,000 hours of direct patient health care. Some require paid clinical hours. At the Betty Irene Moore School of Nursing at UC Davis, 1,000 hours is required. We usually consider uh, really anything that has um, either direct, hands-on care. Um, sometimes there's a comma in there. Some programs require direct, which is a little bit different than hands-on. Direct just means you're interacting with the patient. Hands-on means you're actually doing something, even if it's just checking their blood pressure, or taking their temperature or something. So know what the program is requiring, first of all, so you'll know if your um, clinical experience meets that. While shadowing can be valuable, UC Davis does not consider it clinical experience and does not prioritize it on the application. Really, in any clinical situation, there are valuable skills that can be learned, and I think that that's something that, that students should focus on. Many hands-on roles require some type of educational training, whether it's a degree or a brief certification program. For some of them going to college, I enrolled in a certified nursing assistant course. By doing that, I was able to get a CNA license, which allowed me to work with the elderly population. I just went out and, you know, threw resumes in all these amazing places and wrote a letter to every place that I knew I really wanted to, you know, contribute to as a person who enjoyed learning and loved learning, but more so as a prospective PA student. The most rewarding experiences are those where you learn from your environment and contribute to the organization. What you would hate to do is to go do an internship or do volunteer work where you're not really contributing to their work or the, the future of your own work. Everyone on that team is important. Um, so you need to be respectful to everyone, respectful to patients, interact with patients, uh, talk with patients, talk with their families, you know, get really um, as involved as you can. And that again, will help you know if it's something you really wanna do for the rest of your life, it's your career. And it will speak volumes uh, to us how engaged you were. In addition to volunteering, you can attend a certificate program, such as a Certified Nurses Assistant, or CNA, at a local college, and then conduct a job search in that field. There's also great experience as an EMT, especially when you commit to an ongoing position. Joining a pre-health group allows you to sign up for their newsletter and learn about opportunities. Your college career center likely has resources to find an experience, as do summer health professions courses. And you may want to consider a one to two year gap period in which to achieve all the hours required for admission to a PA program. The thing that is compelling is what you learn and what you took away from that, how that shapes your philosophy and what you want to contribute to your community or to society. It just makes you look at medicine a different way. and. I felt like that was really, really good for me. I think what I learned through that process was, holy crap, I have more to offer than I thought. You know, I know more than I thought I knew.